This is the uh, screen removal for a HP DV74285DX pavilion. Um, screen's busted. There's a big crack that goes across through here when you turn it on. Um, and uh, order a new screen from uh, laptopscreen.com. And the first thing I'm going to do is, which I've already done, kind of, but I'm going to show you. You just take a, a flathead screwdriver and pry this part right here apart from the actual screen, the panel, whatever you want to call it. And the only two screws that you have to remove to get this whole piece off right here is down here in the bottom left corner and the bottom right corner. And it's kind of hard to see, but the one's right here. You got to remove this rubber piece right here. And on this side, it's the same way. There's a rubber piece right here that you got to remove. And I went ahead and just took the whole screen off the uh, actual laptop itself just so I could get to this part right here easier, which you can probably get to it without doing that, but I didn't have the right tools to do that. So I took it off and then uh, just going to remove these rubber pieces right here, and then this whole panel should come off. Okay, I'm going to do that, then we'll be right back. Okay, so... I removed the front panel piece. You'll notice there's some sticky tape that kind of helps hold it on too. So when you're prying it apart, you'll 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 come across some of that sticky stuff, but it's okay. It's the only two screws you gotta worry about. It's the ones I just removed, which is this one and that one, to get that front panel off. Now the next step is to take the whole back panel piece off. The way we're gonna do that is you gotta remove three screws right here one two three on the bottom left three on the bottom right one two three and one on the top right corner and one on the top, top left corner after I do that this whole back panel piece will be coming off I'm gonna do that right now and I'll be right back okay so I took all those screws off now you'll see that it's free from the back panel the only thing that's holding it on now is the camera hook up right here that goes to the back of the screen and at the very bottom down there let me turn it upside down here the very bottom down here the actual screen cable that goes into the screen okay so we'll unplug those going to unplug those and there's actually another uh, cable down there. I'm not actually exactly sure what it is, but you see the little red and white cable down there. Just unplug it also, just so you can get the screen free from the back panel. I'm going to do that. I'll be right back. I actually don't even have to unplug this one because it's going to the monitor cable anyways. So the next step is there's some tape that's kind of help holding this monitor cable in, into the screen this is the back of the screen I'm just going to unplug this cable and of course I unplugged the web camera that was plugged in up here and um, it's right here actually it's just a little plug just unplug and uh, go on unplug this take the tape off then the screen will be unplugged and the only thing that's keeping it on this piece right here now is on the top right there's one screw in the bottom right right here there's one screw in the same way on the left side there's one screw up here on the top left and one screw right down here on the bottom right the bottom left sorry about that and um, then the screen will be actually completely free from all the screws and here's the new screen right over here that I hadn't even opened that up yet so I'm gonna do that be right back Okay, so here's this piece that came off the left side from the two screws I moved on the left. And here's the piece, the two screws I took out that was on the right. And I, of course, I undid the monitor cable, which is where you get all your, um, I guess you could say, this <laughs> display. And now, here is the screen. Actually, the webcam cable is kind of stuck to the back of the screen. Go ahead and remove that. I'll lay 
see that kind of back there. And here is the old busted screen that I'm replacing. So put that over there. Gonna open this one up. And first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go in reverse. I'm gonna hook this cable back up to right here. And then I'm gonna put the screws back in on the right side, on this side, two on this side, and there's two on this side. One top left, one bottom left, and one top right, one bottom right. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have these four screws tied back on. And the side panel's on. The monitor cable's plugged back in right here. Next thing I'm going to do is going to line this web camera back up to right here where it should be so I can plug it back into the top back here. Of course, it'll lay down back like this on the back panel. And once I got it laid back on the back panel, I'm going to put back in these screws. One, two, three, four top left, five top right, then one, two, three in the bottom right. And then it's going to be attached back to the panel again on the back. All right, see you in a second. All right, so I got all the screws back in. It's all in one piece now besides the front panel. And again, I'm gonna put this back on and just gotta put these two screws back in on the bottom left and the bottom right, right down here. And here's the two little sticky things that came off those that, that kind of hides them from you. But uh, gonna screw those back in pop the panel back on and we'll be right back and see what it does okay so I pop this way back on the top all the way around and put the screws back in the one bottom right one down here you can really see the rubber that I put back on it and then the bottom left one right down here you can see a little piece right there the rubber anyways it's good brand new screen laptopscreen.com